Hey, you're still here. Hey, I had to remember which tree I parked at. All right, today I am demoing the vocal mantra, mantra 100. These are 100 width, they are 177 in length. And we're gonna test these bad boys out. Now it's a little slushy today, but we're gonna make the most of it and see what we think. Vocal mantras are nice. I haven't skied on vocal in a while and I like these. Uh, they do a really good job of kind of doing everything. They they go in the woods great. They they don't they're not perfect carving on on the groomers, but that's not what they're designed for. So what I'm feeling is kind of shown in the shape too versus what I'm used to, where there's a little more difference in the tip versus the tail. These uh, kind of keep a consistent width and that's what I'm feeling with that turn initiation. All right, the vocal mantra 100, let's talk about them. I finally feel like I have the words to describe what's going on with these skis. So I like them, nice skis, get that out of the way. But the thing that I'm realizing is when I'm loading up the ski, there's what I consider kind of the bite where the ski catches and it goes into the turn. And this ski's bite is a little bit different than what I'm used to with the Atomics. Usually those bite at the tip. These, you load up the ski, you get into your turn transition, and then they really bite kind of through the middle and center. And you can see they've got a little less distinct hourglass. And I think that's where that comes from. So now that I'm getting used to that kind of different style, I get it. I get what these skis are doing and I, and I like them. They're nice, well-made skis. And yeah, they're kind of, when you're loading up the ski, loading up your boot, and they're catching, they're biting kind of in that middle torso of the ski, right there where that, almost where that uh, darker color is. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. The stance you kind of take on these skis is a little different because you build up your pressure and then you're kind of standing in the middle of the ski for a while and you almost have to kind of adjust your hips more than you would with uh, some of the skis I'm used to. But I like this design. I'd say this is like a, you know, a very solid B plus ski. And man, you really do get used to it and it holds well, it's stable and is making some really beautiful turns. I like this ski a lot. Now that I've had a few runs on the ski, I'd say this is a solid eight out of 10. And that's because it has a really nice mixture of it's good in the woods, it's fun to play, uh, especially in kind of some of the heavier snow. It does really great, but then it's also really fun to ski on the groomers too. It's not perfect, but it's still a great experience and a great all around ski. So yeah, eight out of 10. But yeah, really excellent ski. Um, it's still pretty heavy, but you don't feel it in the snow. And that's kind of thanks to that nice wide width underfoot. Um, but man, you really feel the stability. Uh, overall, this is a great ski. I haven't skied it uh, vocal since the, in the late 2000s, you know, on the Race Tiger and things like that. And then later I've demoed some of their other skis. But man, they've really got that stability locked down. Um, without being kind of flat so yeah vocal mantra nice ski eight out of ten i'm really impressed that vocal actually put together a ski that can carve and go off woods it's not easy right you're trying to kind of cover two different areas at once but man they really put some care into giving this some good shape and stability while being fun in the woods you know, skis really don't have to do two jobs. Most people are willing to shell out for more than one pair of skis. But Vocal took the time and said, you know what? We're gonna have a wood ski, and we're also gonna make it so that it can handle well and have the stability you need to carve on the groomer. So, nice job, Vocal. These are nice skis. Again, nobody pays me to do these. I actually have to pay to <laughs> demo these skis and test them out. So this is my review, and you know, I'm gonna give it to you straight when I like stuff and when I don't. I've had ski companies email me in the past for some of the articles I've written saying, oh, well, where do you get off and who are you? And it's like, I'm just a dude. I'm, I'm just trying skis and I find stuff I like that's designable and stuff that's fine. In this case, these vocals, hey, they're okay. I like them.